Hello everybody. Jurassic Pitbull. Achieve Hunt. Let's play. So, before we start, achievements are getting 15 million points, getting the multi ball, getting the extra ball, using the ball saver. Uh, and I think that's about it. Okay. Start the game. Well, there's a ball saver straight away. 10G. So now we've got that. question is, how do we get the extra ball? Thirty G. There's a skill shot. That was one I forgot about. Right. What are the controls? Camera. That's what I was looking for. Oh, and ten G for one million points as well. Right. Uh, camera is back. Okay. There we go, that's much better, isn't it? Wait, I actually lost the ball when the ball table was up. WTF, what the fuck, barbecue? question is, is there an extra mini game in this? And if there is, how would one trigger it? See, the problem with these games is that they never teach you anything about the table at, at all. They don't tell you what's, what's possible. They tell you absolutely nothing. They literally just give you a start menu and then that's it. Off you go. It's like these devs have never heard of a goddamn manual.
to work out how to get the extra ball on this. light there. What does lane change mean? Oh, okay. Hang on. Right, so... Uh, jackpot is top right. Jackpot says top left T-Rex. I'm guessing it has something to do with going up that left ramp four times. That's what I would assume. I mean, T-Rex, normally thought to be the biggest of the dinosaurs, so you would expect that the T-Rex would have something to do with the extra ball, wouldn't you? such a bad bounce because you can't do anything about that. What is it with these table? Like every every one of these guys games, pinball games, there's always something that has a bad bounce and just puts it straight straight between the bottom. That has to be designed because of, like purposefully. They it's too much of a coincidence that they give it a bad bounce. like there's something that gives a bad bounce on every one of these guys tables. Like on the touchdown one, it was the middle ramp, for example. On this, it seems to be that right bumper.
So just mission failed. Yeah, well you didn't tell me what what I needed to do, game. Now if you want me to do a mission, the idea would be to flash where you want me to go. Just saying. can't just immediately put me in the middle of the fucking table and say, here, fuck you. See, every time it hits that, it's just straight into the middle, and that sucks. That has to have been designed to be that way. As I've said, I think it's got something to do with that prey ramp at the top left. Like, if we light that up, I think it'll either go to a mini mission or something. Although, I haven't seen a mini mission at all. Not like in the touchdown pinball, I mean, where it had like a separate table thing. See, this table also isn't immune to stuck ball somewhere. I say that sarcastically, of course. like there's something where we can get like 12 times our score judging by the light up things just above and to the left and right of the flippers.
Unless that indicates how many times we've like done the prey symbol on the on the flipper things. Who knows? I think this music also, by the way, I think this music was also in Plague Inc. The music sounds very familiar to me. Started some sort of mission. No idea what mission it is. Just says, we have started a mission. Would you like to tell me what that mission is? Nope. I think it wants, for that, I think it wants me to go up the middle ramp, but I'm not sure. Hey, to be honest, this one isn't that bad. It's nowhere near as bad as touchdown. I'm just trying to work out how I'm supposed to get the extra ball. Because there isn't anything that's like inherently obvious. And obviously the game doesn't tell us jack shit. Tyler. Yeah, the devs don't ever respond to anything. They are absolutely fucking useless. I don't even think they've got a social media team or support or anything. I, I don't think they do anything. Honestly, a disgrace of a fucking company. But uh, what do you expect when you pick up their games for less than two quid, eh? I mean, 
God forbid you ask them to explain what your table can do when you want when you play the fucking thing, you know? I swear this music is off of Plague Inc though, I would put money on it. the mission. No idea what the mission was because, again, the game doesn't tell me shit. did like that. So I've hit the target one. Okay, I got the Tyrannosaur one. 5,000 points, there we go. So 5 million points even. So to get 5 million points, you need to go up the full ramp, uh, the T-Rex ramp four times and then hit the two targets that appear next to the middle ramp at the, at the bottom of it. Okay, so how do we get the extra ball? That's the question of the day. something to do with that purple target at the top left perhaps
So I've done that target as well. 15 millions. Holy shit, that was quick. What the hell are you going on about? Okay, I've got Ball Saber again. Oh my god, look at that. That was an instant completion of that T-Rex thing. I'm a god. Okay, seriously though, how do we get the extra ball? I have no idea what you're going on about, Tyler. I lost the ball. Okay, so before I start this extra ball, okay, well, the guide says we have to get the ball behind the dinosaur head on the right. To do that, we have to hit the spinning lane on the left and light up the middle ramp, apparently. Thanks for the thanks for that game. Thanks for that. Super helpful.
31 million, that's a goddamn good score. Huh. Fourth in the world. Go me. As our local German, trying to be funny and failing as always. How are you doing, Garth? My, my jokes are like German beer, flat and watered down. No, I have no problem with Germans. It's just you, Ryle. <laughs> find out how to get multi-ball on this as well. It's apparent, okay, because uh, apparently um, the extra ball is trying to get it through that flipper thing up there, the uh, rotational panel, like that. Light it up enough so that um, the middle ramp gets lit and supposedly of all comes that way but I have no idea I also have no idea how to do the multi-ball either again you would think that a game would tell you how to do these things but nope the devs are too fucking lazy and can't be asked to just put an instruction manual in their fucking games because they're lazy cunts I will happily say that on record don't respond to emails, they don't respond to any support query, they don't respond to any questions about uh, their games, they're just lazy bastards. And I will happily go on record and say that. You have no right making games if you literally refuse to respond to support questions that are submitted through your own damn websites. Absolutely no right to be making games if you won't res won't uh, respond to your customers. Even if you're porting this shit to Xbox, which is fine, but still, fucking respond to your goddamn customers. You want their money, respond to them. Come on, fucking courtesy. You don't just ignore somebody. Or multiple people. Or, in fact, all of the people who fucking contact you. I 
I mean, you may be putting out cheap gains, but a fucking response, even if it's an automated response, is warranted to any time somebody fucking contacts you. It's politeness. If somebody's taking the time to fucking contact you, do the right thing, show dignity, and fucking respond to them. It's why I will always respond to YouTube comments. Someone's taking the time to comment on one of my videos, I will take the time to respond to them, even if it's a, a thank you or whatever. Although sometimes I get comments that, or, or rather I, YouTube tells me I've got comments and then when I, when I go to the video I literally can't see them. So. I don't know if that's a YouTube bug or whatever, but or if it's like some sort of language block or filter, I don't bloody know. Or maybe maybe it could just be like one of YouTube's anti-spam things. I don't bloody know. But yeah, whenever whenever I get a comment or whenever my comments I need to respond to page appears with a new comment, I will always make sure to comment uh, to to respond to it on any video I've done. I have no moderating section. So I, I always I always check the comments waiting for review as well and none ever appear there. Ever. I don't know if it's a problem with the page or what, but I've never seen a comment appear there ever. Yeah, exactly. It's just one of those things. So if you're listening to this and you've made a comment and I've not responded to it it's because it's literally not showing up for me so that I, I respond to every single comment that I can actually see on my videos on the on the page where it pulls together all the comments for me so if I've never responded to your comment or whatever then that's not down to me that's down to YouTube not doing shit right. If someone wants to do me a favour and find out how we unlock the multi-ball on this, that'd be great. And for a certified way to get the uh, to get the um, extra ball as well, that'd be fantastic if you could help. Because it's very clear that the, the devs don't give a shit about explaining their fucking pinball tables. likes forcibly stealing the ball saver from you, doesn't it? Why is it on these pinball tables that they make? Every single one, every single fucking table has something that's just like a cheap bounce on it. I'll tell you why, because they don't fucking test their fucking tables.
Okay, so that's gone behind the dinosaur head, so now I just need to get it up the middle ramp. Fuck you, game. Okay, see, look at this. You just go automatically down between the ball saver fucking hole, straight from the start. So much for ball saver being active. Oh, the moment ball server goes off, I lose the ball. Go fuck yourself, game. Just go down the sides, there's nothing you can do about it. it. It's bollocks. It's literally bollocks, and that shouldn't be part of pinball games. The 
the pinball should always, 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 always be able to reach a flipper. Always. Yes, I just, I did just go up that ramp five times in a row. Okay, so I got the t t uh, the T Rex lit up. Maybe I have to do each mission to get the Morty Ball. Who knows? Or not, because fuck me. I don't know. The game doesn't fucking tell us anything. He expects us to find it out with self with like with absolutely no information with how the game fucking works or anything. Because fuck us, right? I see if I had the choice I'd fucking punch the dev in the face. Explain your fucking game, motherfucker. It's not fucking hard. It's called a manual. We've used manuals in games for 40 fucking years. More than that, actually. You know, good old little bit of paper. And yes, is it a digital game? Right, put the manual on the main fucking menu then, you cockwomble. No, the devs are a bit stupid. They're fucking lazy bastards that just use the same template, upload a fucking pinball machine into their little program that makes this fucking area and the, the main menu and all that shit. That's literally all they do. Uh, just put, put in a fucking difference. Um, different table and then just call it a fucking day. Different logo icon, that's it. They're just lazy bastards, every single one of them. I don't mind going on record saying it because it's fucking true.
Yep. Thing is rentable, I've already said that. Exactly the fucking point that I'm making. Sometimes you just can't do anything and you lose everything that's going on. That's bollocks. If the if the ball can slip through the flippers at their closest possible moments, then there's something wrong with the game. Because that's not skill, that's luck. Pinball's supposed to be about skill, not luck. Oh yeah, thanks for that game. Go fuck yourself. Seriously, shove a fucking pinball flipper up your ass. Here's the thing as well, when it puts you on a mission, how about it says in the digital readouts what you need to fucking do in the mission? How about that for an idea, you pricks? Instead of just saying, oh, you've hit kickback, whoopee. Here's the thing, like, it's not as if these tables actually exist in the real world. They fucking don't. These are literally computer made, like made on the computer. They're not based off of any real table or concept or anything. And see, that's the thing about actual pinball tables, like in the real world. They have to go through certain uh, standards. Like to make sure that there isn't um, any bugs or bad bounces or whatever that that can be effectively seen as stealing a player's money, you know? I mean, there's so many standards that you need to face for a pinball table to not fall afoul of gambling laws. Or, or rather a pinball table that requires a monetary input. There's literally so many laws. Even more than a fucking slot machine. Because a slot machine is just literally a bunch of odds. You know? And uh, uh, odds and wheels and where they will stop. But a pinball machine is... Because it's been proven to be based on skill, if the machine is fair... Um, pinball machines actually have to go through much 
uh, much stronger uh, regulations and things, or at least in America. I'm not sure about in the UK, but pinball machines aren't that big here, from what I've seen. I mean, you get the odd one or two, but in arcades, like unless it's a very pinball specific arcade or, or an arcade that has space for lots of big pinball machines because they are very loud You know, the middle ramp. Well, that's not fucking helpful, is it, game?
somebody could possibly look up and see if anyone has commented anywhere, like just can somebody Google search how to get the multi pool in Jurassic Pinball, please? And a confirm way to get the extra ball as well would be awesome as well. With due respect, Renable, I am trying to work work this out. If you've been playing this as well, then you, uh, that means you must know how to get the multi-ball. Spill the beans, dude. Oh! I got the extra ball. Never mind. I was right with the spins and just doing the Cartosaurus mission then. Okay, so how the hell are we supposed to get the multi ball then? Well, the multi ball then has got to be one of the other missions, surely. Something to destroy the eggs, perhaps? Oh! Never mind! <laughs> Stop the clock. I think that was it. Yes, it was. So, to get the multi ball, you must complete the Velociraptor jackpot. So, the Velociraptor mission is the multi ball, the Cartosaurus mission is the the Cartosaurus mission is the uh, the Cartosaurus mission. I will get my goddamn words out. The Cartosaurus mission is the extra ball. Right, so I think it has something to do with the eggs on the left side. So I, I, we would, I would have to check the replay. So if anyone's not sure, check the replay what mission I did. And the only reason I'm thinking it's Velociraptor is because the Velociraptor is now, as you can see on the left side of the table, just above the left uh, blue bounce pad, um, is that the Velociraptor is now lit up. So it has, it's got to have something to do with the... It's got to have something to do with the eggs on the left side. Has to. I 
I'm not sure if it allows you to repeat missions that you completed, like the Velociraptor. Oh no, those are Diplodocus eggs on the left. So maybe the Velociraptor eggs are on the right. I have no idea. Anyway, um, that's been the 1000G, thankfully. Um, okay, so can we... I'm going to try and see if I can just switch camera on this. Okay, so on the right is the Cartosaur. Kind of looks like a Triceratops. To get that, you need to go up the pink arrow top left under the cave through the flipper. You need to spin it enough times so that when you go through the flipper, the ball actually goes behind the dinosaur's head on the right. Once it goes in there, you'll start off the Cartosaurus mission, which uh, requires you to... I think it gives you like 25 or 30 seconds. Uh, and to succeed in that, you simply need to lob the ball up the middle ramp all the way. For the Velociraptor, I honestly think it was destroying the eggs on the left and then doing whatever the requirement, requirement was for the mission once you'd destroyed the Diplodocus eggs. But I'm not sure. I'm truly not sure. Um, uh, for points, the T of X ramp is definitely the easiest way to do it. Um, T of X ramp four times, which you can see highlighted at the top left. And uh, you notice the... Uh, the... Um, the middle, the middle ramp, the middle green curved ramp that looks like a hook. At the front of that, there is two uh, tabs that come up. One on the left and one on the right. The right one will appear first. Once you're in the T-Rex mission, um, you can smack that right tab and then smack the left tab. I believe you have 25 seconds for, to get both of them. If you do, that's 5 million points straight away. Anyway, uh, I hope this helps. I really do hope it helps because technically this is much easier than Touchdown Pinball. Touchdown Pinball was an absolute disaster. But um, yeah, here's the full video of me getting annoyed at Pinball. Yay! Anyway, see you next time.